we have a latent power of awareness that is not tapped much by the modern world. When we get outside and, and practice bird language, we awaken a lot of old powers within ourselves that quickly can take their place again in our consciousness. Bird language is an interspecies communication system, like a very well-tuned musical instrument. There's tension between all the ears and eyes and vocalization systems of the birds and animals. And it's a giant web. And if something moves over here, the whole web vibrates. You can learn to understand it. And you can learn to make predictions and, and have a very interesting time in the outdoors by realizing that just out of sight over there, there's a coyote. And being able to go over around the corner and, and sneak and look and be verified and, and have that, that joy of, wow, you know, that was like solving a mystery using a whole different kind of sensory apparatus than I'm used to using. It doesn't seem obvious that all the birds and animals are communicating with each other. Um, the reason that is is because their life depends on it. They all talk to each other for that reason. All the birds know this, all the mammals know this, except for most of the humans. For the most part, it's been lost to us because we're not directly involved in that game anymore. You know, the, if you go and find people who are still involved in that game, like hunter-gatherer nomads in the Kalahari or in South America, you'll find that they still know this stuff and they still understand why it is so predictable. On BBC, you know, David Attenborough points it out and there's some other great resources now that talk about why bird language is something that we can tap into. Um, science is beginning to catch up with the indigenous wisdom of bird language. Uh, nobody has really gotten that sort of universal, culture-wide perspective on bird language. Different scientists have discovered different little strips of it. Um, and what I hope to do in this book is to bring all of those pieces together and tell a meta story and show how you know, the scientific inquiry is, is uh, filling in those gaps with scientific data, but also give people something to look at and, and carry it much further. I was raised as a tracker since the age of 10, mentored by Tom Brown Jr. If you are mentored in, in a traditional society that has passed this awareness through centuries, uh, what happens is that many, many lifetimes of hard-won lessons can be passed on in shorter time spans. And that, that's uh, what I experienced growing up with a mentor like Tom Brown Jr. And for the last 26 years have devoted my professional career to tracking awareness, mentoring, and teaching bird language skills. When we pay attention to bird language, um, it brings a whole different attention to the moment. It helps us to arrive in the present and pay rapt attention to whoever's standing in front of us, you know, whether it's a deer or a mockingbird scolding something in the distance or a fellow human being. Bird language just increases people's power in the moment. This is from direct observation, 26 years of mentoring bird language. The people who have been on this journey uh, described to me universally that it has changed the way they experience life.